Hi there, it's Tanya from Tatty Treasures. So this is the second time I am back today. Earlier I did a haul video for In Love Arts and I said I'd come back and do <coughs> a couple of projects. So I did forget to say on that video, uh, I have got a discount code. It will be in all the descriptions of the videos that I do for them and it is G, capital G, uh dash <laughs> one of them uh two six seven four oh but like i say it is in the description so you can just copy and paste uh that in so what i've done is with the packaging um that was obviously a complete packaging i've just backed it and inked around it gonna do some collage to cover that and then the big packaging I've just cut it down to my three tags and inked it round and put an eyelet in so I thought it was a good way to use the packaging so I have got my collage stuff out um, let's see how we can disguise this bit here so So let me just rip rip the top to get rid of the the blankness and then I should be able to rip a little bit each side that sticks out a bit there so just go thin there has that done it yep it's better that way Let me see if this will cover it. Haha. -ha. So that covers that bit. Um, I wanted to try and do it in an upside down L shape. So I've got a bit of book page here. <clears throat> Just had a drink and it's still quite dry the only little little bits of scraps these are so maybe you can have something like so so I just rip that off there <coughs> um, Try a bit of this. So I'm liking that. <clears throat> Let me just get my ink out. So I hope everybody's doing okay. I'm fine. Um, the weather seems to have dropped cold here now. We seem to be definitely in autumn. It's gone quite dark and dull. And um, yeah, there's a definite chill in the air. Um, <clears throat> when I walked, walked to work the other day, I did end up zipping my coat right up. So I think it's time to find some scarves out. Uh, not not my thick, you know, woolly ones, just some decorative scarves because I do like something uh, <clears throat> keeping my neck quite warm. So I'm just going to stick this down first. Pop that there. I'm gonna pop that down. Can't go a bit more like that. So 
So yeah, what, what a great tag base. I really like the shape of it. So that's that. Could perhaps do with just ink in there a little bit. Might get a little brush and <clears throat> poke it in there. Right, I do feel like I need a bit of something, something else. Let's try a bit of this text. These are all the papers. Oh, you won't have seen that video yet. <laughs> um, yeah, these are papers that, that I use later in the Woodland series. <clears throat> so, I don't know if to... Let's pick a, a flower first and see. So, I'm thinking we're going to want quite a, a wide one. So, that's quite tall. That's just a head. <clears throat> So that's got a, I'm thinking we'll probably will end up going, going for this one. I think that one's too tall for it. So <clears throat> let's have a look what this will look like. So yeah, I think that would be perfect about there. Yep. <laughs> so I'll just put this on, on there. So we'll go about that and then I'll position that about there. So let's try and take this, this back off. Oh. Thought I got it then. Oh, got it. <laughs> right. See if I can get that all oh, nice and sticky. So let's try and get that there. Get that. I got it rubbed down. So yeah, that looks lovely against the the like ledger paper and then the collage that I've added on top. Just gonna go over it with some ink just to to dull it down. So yeah, I'm liking that. <clears throat> and then I've got some labels out, but I've got the little <coughs> snippet things that um, I got from In Love Arts. So what I was thinking is, let me just grab my scissors. I'm just going to cut round this a little bit, take, take the border off. And then I'm just going to snip now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to peel this off because it's so small. Oh. Yeah, I can say it's a little bit fiddly now. I think I've got it. Oh, cranky. Yeah, maybe take them off first and then cut them next time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me bring it to my face. Right, I've got it. Got it. So I was just going to put that across there. So it looks like it's been taped in. Do you like that that look? And then I think I'm going to put a label. And I shall just give that an ink round. This is a Tracy Fox label. It's, it's one of her random number ones. And I've printed it on the manila card. So that's that. I'm just going to see if I can oh, 
a little one up there. So let me just cut that down a bit better. That's it. I should have just enough ink to go around that little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's that one. I <laughs> really like that. To so, say, you know, that was just with some packaging, a bit of scrap paper and a sticker, a couple of labels. So that's that one. I've lost my tags under this um, mound of scraps. So I'm going to do the same with these. I'm just going to use some scraps. Um, just do with a few long pieces so maybe just rooting rooting through my pile I don't think you can see it I think it's just a little bit off um, camera that or that and that right let's see see what we've got now so can I just do something like that and Something like that, and then something like that, or just turn this down. Something like so. Let's pick out flowers. So, we're going to want some quite tall, thin ones. Um, that's probably a bit too thick. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I think I'll go for for those. Right. Just quickly go around these um, I didn't sort any seam binding out to, to put on them I think I've still still got some brown seam binding left so I'm starting to run a bit low on the crinkled seam binding. That can go there. So yeah, back to the um, autumn weather. Um, the last time I was at work I did going to try some some winter boots on but um none of them was was you know what exactly what what I wanted but um <clears throat> at work we only in like the first kind of stages of of autumn so we'll get lots more boots in soon so the the boots that I wear for work um I think I've had them a good good two years and I've you know wore them a lot at work and I am ready for some new ones so I do love autumn because I love boots and jumpers 
and tights and scarves and and such. I love new coats as well. Well, I don't I don't need a new coat this year. I think I had one not last year, the year before. So there's plenty, plenty of life left in it. So I had a really really good one. So it'll probably last me for quite a few few years. So that's that. And this one. Now I was gonna use some postage stamps um in the background. So I'll see see how that looks. Um because I hardly ever use postage stamps. And I've sorted out some greens and, and browns. So I'll just use a bit of green just for a little pop of colour. Uh, they do do these florals in all different ones. I picked, um, you know, more autumnal, but um, I think they've got like um, a set in yellow. Got some like purpley blues. So I was quite torn between the autumn one and, and the blues. So if that was there, I was thinking of just... My fingers are just a little bit sticky now. Just thinking of placing them there. Maybe with that, the brown wants to go at the top. I like that there, whatever. So I'm going to put that there. that you know I don't know if to go all brown now I'm quite liking the the feel yeah I'm going to go with with all brown so I put that around about there Right, let's hope we get this off quicker. If I don't, I'm going to pause it and, and take them all off. I've got it. So, let's think about... Good thing it's with these being see-through as well. You can see, see where you're putting them. I'm going to go side on. Got a really good stick to these as well. And if you don't get it right the first time, you can unpe oh, unpeel it off and put it back on. Oh, I've just got a little crease in that, so I'm just going to... over with with the ink so let's see if we've got a label don't think it wants anything <coughs> as big as as big as that probably all the same size I don't want a black and white one no you know, all the tiny ones are going to be right at the bottom, aren't they? Oh, that might be. Yeah, I like that. Um, what have I done with my scissors? Let me just trim this. As I've said, when I do sit and cut labels and numbers and stuff, 
I don't cut them precise. Um, I just neaten them up when I'm going to use them because, um, you know, you sit in there hours as it is and I print all my labels and numbers out all in one go and so it's a big, big job. So that's, that's that. I think they're really nice for this time of year. These will fit, fit right in with my uh, autumn things and winter things. So that's that one. Is that the one I was using? I feel like they've disappeared. Have I knocked them off? No, it must be then. I can't think what the other one was. Aha, <laughs> this one there. Right, so that's that one. Um, got another two brown stamps there. So there's that one there and that one there. Yeah, I like that. Yep. So the stamps I got from Amazon, it was just um, a mixed packet and I've separated mine, I've separated, um, I've put like the greens and browns together and then I've put all the colourful stamps together and then any, with like animals and plants and flowers, I've put all those uh, together just in those little A6 plastic wallet things that I've got and so and then I just find that easier uh, to grab grab the right colour stamp that I want so get that bottom bit up that's that Right, let's find a, a label. I like that, but possibly just a little bit too too long. It's too wide. I really like that. Let's sync that up and see. See what it looks like. This is from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Yeah, I like that. I'm going to have that on there. I'm just going to pause and do the last one and because I need to find two more brown stamps out and I'm going to find my seam binding. So that's that one. Be back in a tick. So <clears throat> I'm back. I finished them off. So I think they look really, really cool. Love the them the the you know look nice and slim and tall. And then we've got got us dumpy one here. Really, <clears throat> I ought to draw around this and save this as a, a template. It's a really nice uh, size. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, thank you to In Love Arts for letting me try out some of their uh, products. And I shall be back later with um, another one. So see you in a bit. Bye.